Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. 在暌违九年之后，伊隆·马斯克的 SpaceX 太空探索技术公司准备将 NASA 的太空人从美国本土送上外太空。如果这次的任务成功，将会是首度由民间公司跨足太空事业的创举之作。以纪录片《赤手登峰》勇夺奥斯卡最佳纪录片奖，具有华裔血统的伊丽莎白·柴沙瓦瑞丽和金国威夫妇再度联手拍摄了这部不畏艰难、展现人类雄心壮志的纪录片《重返太空》。Um, already, our lives are so connected with space right, through GPS, through you know all the technology we use that is dependent on satellites. But really, I think what we came down to after speaking with all the scientists involved is our relationship to space is really about how we look at our own society. You know, it's what they always call the Earth Rise. When you, when people when astronauts see the Earth from space, you you cherish the Earth even more. And I think that that was where we landed in this exploration. And I think you know. Elon, somebody that thinks、uh, far into the future, and the idea of kind of pre, you know, preserving the human consciousness, and that idea、uh, is, you know, true to what he actually believes, and and it's a it's a different perspective to see、uh, space travel through. 回顾由伊隆·马斯克所领导的 SpaceX， 从无数次的失败中汲取经验，最后在包裹本肯和道格赫尔利两位资深 NASA 太空人的努力下，终于搭乘天龙号太空船，成功抵达了国际太空站。Doug is top gun, like he's one of the finest test pilots in the world,、um, and Bob is, you know, a genius, and you know, mechanical engineer, and.、Um, I don't know. I think what is really special about them is that they are excellent at what they do. They're also like really, really close friends, which is a special part. And they also, for them, they 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 witnessed you know the end of the you know the shuttle space program. You know, Doug was the last. He was the pilot on the last shuttle flight, and they brought this sort of institutional knowledge to this new era in space exploration. And that was. Interesting. They do share is that they're deeply, deeply passionate about space, and and, and they love what they do.、Uh, they, you know, that sort of kind of obsession slash passion,、uh, I think, is the only things that can make you achieve something、uh, that is this challenging. 这对夫妻档导演在拍摄这部纪录片的过程中，也遭到了困难重重。但看着两位已经成为好友的太空人顺利重返地球，心中充满了无限感动。The most challenging was we were in the, like the pandemic hit in the middle of making this film, and at one point there was like a federal order that no two people could be in the same room on government property, and so you can imagine like how difficult that is to make a documentary, and. But I think the most memorable was certainly the Dragon 2 launch. I mean, like we had come to know both Bob and Do- Bob and Doug very well, and like have grown to have a real relationship with them. And there's always part of you that worries because space is dangerous. And you know that whole time that they were, you know, when they were up at the space station until they returned, it was never over until they were back down.、Um, so I think that was definitely the most memorable. No, it was the same for me, and and to see them splash down safely,、uh, I think that was、uh, an incredible moment for everybody. 虽然拍的是重返太空，但是如果两位导演真的有机会，也能坐着太空船航向宇宙，他们最想要在太空里看见什么 ？I would love to see the Earth from space. That's it. I just think it must be. It just like it's a great reminder of just of humility and how. Precious and sh- and short-lived, what we have is, you know, how fragile it is. I, I have the same answer. I mean, to see the Earth from space, and to see actually how small our little planet is in relation to the rest of space,、uh, I think gives you a perspective that is hard to achieve from any other other place. You see the Earth as this one entity, and it's our home.
。伊隆马斯克更计划在不久的未来，要载着太空人航向月球，并到火星殖民与探索，一步步实现人类伟大的太空梦。东新闻殷宏文在好莱坞的采访报道。